call me superstitious, but I punch in at the same time every morning. 4.52 a.m. Most days, that's the first clock I see. You know, when you get to come to work and see these beautiful sunrises and feel the breeze coming into the pilot house window, you don't need an alarm clock to get you out of bed at zero dark 30. The kind of service that Casco Bay Lines has been running here for about, I don't know, 150 years or so, one that carries mail, freight, and passengers, well, it's a lifeline for the Islanders. And I should know because I grew up on Peaks Island. I started working here when I was 14 years old. I've been uh, working here for 40 years, been a captain for just over 35. So every Tuesday morning, we arrive to work and the milk is uh, in large cages. These four by five cages are just stuffed with uh, ice cold milk. And we get them out to the island as early as possible while there's still a little chill in the air. But some mornings, you know, it's still 70 degrees out as, uh, as we're heading down the bay. How can you beat that? To have a post office on an island is to have a community. Um, islands that lose that, they lose that sense of community. That zip code lets people know that this place is alive. The Islanders, they rely on the Casco Bay Island Transit District and their ferries. They rely on those ferries to be there, to get their mail, to get their milk, to get family to or from. Without the, the ferries, it would be very difficult to get to and from those islands. That's why it's important. Even though we live in the internet age, it's amazing to me how much paper mail we still carry. You know, one island in particular can get up to 400 packages a day. And we serve six islands, so each island is getting these packages. Casco Bay watershed is just uh, full of seals. We've got the bald eagles now. Ten years ago, you'd never see a bald eagle. Now we have a, a nesting pair on one of the islands that comes back every year. Great blue herons. I mean, it's just, it's all there. We bring a variety of other freight aboard. Anything you can imagine. I'll give you an example. We, we move a lot of uh, porta potties but they're sitting on the dock, and the problem is, is that the, the customer that's going to get on the ferry, well, they think that the porta potties are there for them, and actually they're being shipped off the island because they're, they're a little bit beyond use. Good morning. We primarily serve local passengers. But we get people from all over the world on that boat. And I try to make them all welcome. So Peaks Island, for example, has the largest gun battery ever built on US soil, which you can still walk through today. There's a lot of graffiti there and things like that. I just know so many people who've been working here so long that you know you, you feel part of that community. I'm an eighth generation mariner here in Casco Bay. And I have two wonderful daughters who are both great sailors. One of them is even making a career out of it. There are some traditions here in Maine that are just too good to give up. My name is Gene Willard, and I'm senior captain at Casco Bay Lines.